everybody. We coming in here on another one. Got our friends back there. Our friends we don't like to see. That's extra drill rods. Yep. Down here 600 feet for a guy. I still don't have any water, so we trying to get him some water. I'm gonna uh, have to load some rods off the truck. I'm gonna show you what that's like. But first, we want all of y'all to see uh, what it's like to get to this well. We got a big hill we're getting ready to go up, so ride along with us as we get on up here to this drill rig. Here we go. All the way down in first. Slow and steady wins the race. everybody you can see the site we're working with here uh 600 feet getting ready to fire the rig up obviously no rods left on the drill rig so we got this just brandon he's not a rod though he can be a rod uh got this little loader here just like uh we would be loading them off the rig the only difference is we don't have any more on the rig so we have to bring them in on the truck uh, as you can see, your truck's got to be pretty close to the rig. Uh, that crane on top of the rig can only swing out so far. Um, we can load them from either side of the rig, either the driver's side or the passenger side. Uh, if we were to have to... Uh, let me take this off to show you, but... If we were going to load them from the passenger side, we'd have to have the water truck uh, backed in about where that transformer is, backed up close to the rig so we could pull off that way. So, uh, just wanted to give you a quick video, show you the uh, site we're on here and kind of give you a little demonstration about uh, how we do things when we have to bring extra drill rods in. So, uh, let's go hit some water. <laughs> 